Hey, Quilt Nation, so we're back. Quilt Marine here. We're still working on our kaleidoscope quilt. So when I when we last left off, I was talking about how we're going to nest like eagles. So I remember when I first started quilting, nesting was like so hard. So I just ran through it. I would, I would send stitches straight through there without even worrying about it. And then later on, I started realizing how important it was to align your, your blocks or your fabrics or your patterns in the correct way. All right. So let's nest. A couple of pieces are kaleidoscope so let's take a look here so down here i have a couple of strips right don't don't worry about this i just put them together so for the purpose of teaching our nesting uh, piece all right so we want to nest this so in nesting what we want to do is want to match up this with this without it looking like crazy like way off this way way off this way all right or over this way okay so all right, so basically what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna right sides matching. Let's roll it over here. Okay, so I keep it simple, all right? My stitch line here, you see that point? It's gonna turn into a point on this side. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here, you see how that shape comes there and then it goes up right here. That point, I'm gonna match to this point. So it comes up right here and then it comes down right here. All right, so what I do is I look and I try to match them up perfectly, okay? I'll get smaller and smaller. And then once it's matched up, I'm gonna send a pin right through it. All right, and then I'm gonna bring that pin towards myself. All right, so there's also another way where you can come to these points as well on the edges and, and nest these as well, all right? But my quilt's not going to a show. My quilt's going to someone I know and love, okay? So this is good enough for me. All right, so another thing. I used to, when I was uh, nesting before, all right, I used to nest this in this direction. And then one of my subscribers suggested that I come this way and she was she was exactly right. And that's why I appreciate you guys. You guys keep me legit, okay? And the reason why I go this way now is so that I can bring my stitch line right up to the edge, right? Pull the pin, um, the foot and the feed dogs will keep it in place when you pull the pin and you can keep on going, all right? So what we're gonna do is gonna take this to the machine and see what happens, all right? We all know how to do a quarter inch seam. We're going to do that. All right, so here we go. So now we're at our, our the part we need to worry about. So these are aligned here. We're going to bring this together here. Quarter inch seam. All right, so I'm coming up to my pin, right? We know, we know for a fact that we are nested here. So I'm gonna bring my pin up. So now there's a there's a, a quarter inch guide right here. So I'm gonna pull my pin here. I know that a feed dogs are holding it in place for right now. Gonna send that through. Maintain our quarter inch seam. All right, so now we're gonna take it to the table. We're gonna open it up. And we're gonna see what happens, all right? All right, so we're at a table, right? So we're ready to go ahead. We're gonna press the seam here. Let's press the seam here. All right, I don't need to press the whole thing because it's only a sample, all right? Just like in the Marine Corps, for the purposes of my instruction, that kind of thing, right? All right, let's go ahead and press that out. Okay, so we're gonna open this thing up here. Let's press it open. All right, so what we have here is something that resembles our hexagon, okay? And it only, and, and, and it doesn't matter how many of these you have in a row, okay? Say like you had this one here, all right? Um, this one here connected, all right? So it doesn't matter. You're gonna pay attention to the center, all right? And if you have them right next to each other, it doesn't really matter. You're paying attention to that point when we wanna, um, we wanna nest it, all right? So now that they're nested and we have our strips done, Remember, we started putting our strips together. We had two halves, right? And then we put them on the wall. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so we put our two halves together. Remember, we put our, did a bunch of strips, okay? All right, so I went ahead and I bordered it. I have, this is, um, 
this is a uh, butterfly magic um, texture. And there's a butterfly magic. I think I'm not sure some type of star or something that's butterfly magic. But I try to stay in the same um, uh, fabric uh, fabric um, series, I guess, the same fabric series of butterfly magic. And I thought it came out pretty good. All right, if it wasn't for my wife coming in and saying he needed to distract the eye a little bit. This thing would have been, you probably would have got dizzy looking at it and passed out, okay? But I'm happy with how it came out, all right? So what we're going to do is, you know, I'm going to get some, um, so I'm going to back this probably with, my wife pointed out, um, the back side will probably have this on it. Was this the one you picked out, babe? It's either this one or the hearts, I think. I think it might be this one. This one? This might be on the back side. We'll see. All right. And then I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll bind it with the super bright orange that I have already selected. Stay right there. So I put the bind together yesterday. And we'll probably bind it with this uh, neon orange. Okay, and then I think that'll be that'll be a quilt. And we'll give this a I'll give this to somebody. All right, you guys know you know how I do. We'll do a great quilt, and then it's out of here. All right, after it's done, I don't care about it. All right, my process is getting it built. All right, that's where that's what helps me mentally. It helps me with dealing with stress, dealing with depression, and once. It's completed, it has to go, okay? I don't like looking at them. I don't like them being here. They're a distraction to my future projects, all right? So once we get uh, some batting on this thing, a backing on this thing, I'll probably send it to my buddy, Andrew. Remember, the combat quilter, all right? Have him, um, have him long arm it, maybe, and we'll see how it comes out. And that'll be it, all right? And then we'll have Rob, my buddy, my other buddy, review it. <laughs> <laughs> and send me the critiques and red paint, all right? But outside of that, we're done with this thing, all right? It was a pleasure. I hope you guys were able to keep up. I'm sure you were because I'm, I like to moonwalk when it comes to building quilts, you know? I don't I don't blow through them, um, and we'll move on. Um, I'm looking forward to building our next project, and I'll let you in on a secret. It will probably be another Georgia Beauty, okay? Those things, I love those because they're so intricate. And it takes so much time. I love quilts that take a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, effort to build, okay? And we'll probably do that next. But don't hold me to it because I can be distracted by anything at any time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And remember to subscribe to the Combat Quilter. It's only fabric and it's only thread.